the rideshare business has flipped the taxi industry on its head. Companies like Uber and Lyft are raking in billions of dollars in revenue by disrupting local markets. But drivers on the road have a different strategy to maximize profits. Diversification. For now, rideshare drivers are technically independent contractors, so they're not tied to just one company. The more apps they're on, the more money on the table. Harry Campbell is known as the rideshare guy. He quit his job as an engineer for Boeing, and now he runs a blog for rideshare drivers. You know, I always recommend to drivers, regardless of who you start with, once you get the hang of things, once you learn the ropes, you should be driving for, at a minimum, both Uber and Lyft because, uh, you know, you're actually a business owner as a rideshare driver, so it's important to diversify your income. But juggling multiple rideshare platforms can be complicated. Fumbling between phones or apps to manage new rider requests while navigating the road isn't always the most efficient or safe way to work. At least one company is trying to make it easier for drivers to cash in on multiple apps. Maestro is an app that automates the process of comparing and accepting riders from different platforms. But the surge in rideshare tech hasn't been a boon for everyone on the roads. Taxi drivers are struggling to keep up with the industry disruption, and many think the cards are stacked against them. Lately, the last four years, half of ever when we just two years ago before the Uber, Lyft, um, and all those new companies came up, so the business completely down for yellow cabs. A big reason taxi drivers are struggling to make ends meet has to do with the price of medallions, this little piece of metal on the front of every iconic yellow taxi. Unlike rideshare drivers, every certified taxi driver is required to have one, and they're definitely not a small investment. The Mendali, four years ago, before the Uber, with the Lyft, and other new company came out, they were the price of Mendali, and they were like really a fortune. There was uh, over a million dollars. So compared to right now, it's down to $200,000. Some taxi drivers are embracing a digital approach with credit card terminals and apps like Curb. Curb is a mobile platform that connects to exclusively taxis and li fully licensed for hire vehicles. And really these are full-time drivers, not one hour here, one hour there, but the guys who have historically worked in taxis sometimes for up to 30 or 40 years. Tensions are heating up in the rideshare space. Companies like Uber and Lyft are facing their growing pains in legal battles, and a handful of states are putting pressure on gig economy companies to classify their workers as employees rather than independent contractors. But as it stands now, rideshare drivers can still do their thing. Meanwhile, taxi drivers are struggling to stay afloat, and a ride is just a tap away. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.